What's going on everybody? This is 40B Nasty. I'm here to show you an update on my tank. This is the 14th day of having a supplement or a medication that is used for fish. It is an antifungal medication and it is used to kill bryopsis. It has worked in my tank. There is a god. <laughs> but I'm just going to do a quick run through. Show you exactly what's going on. Do not mind the green hair algae. But I can tell you 100%, I do not see any bryopsis. If you look back in some of my other videos, it was terrible. Especially up here, it was completely covering those. The green hair algae is definitely something that looks really bad right now. But I'm telling you what, this is all dying off really quick. And I'm going to pull all this tomorrow with a water change. But other than that, none of my corals affected. None of my snails died. None of my shrimp died. None of my fish died. So this is a great thing and a chance for anybody who has bryopsis to maybe save your tank without doing a teardown. Because I've seen so many people on the forums say, this is what I did. I tore my tank down. Well, this is maybe a chance for you not to. I'm just going to say how to dose it. It's 200 milligrams per capsule. Now, my I got a 65 gallon tank, so I did 6.5 capsules because it's one capsule per 10 gallons. I use a product for, called Reflux from Reef HD, and this seems to have worked for me. I picked that stuff up online, and you can too. And I, what I did was, at the start, I pull, put my protein skimmer cup at the highest point so it did not skim the medication out. I pulled all my chemical medias except for Fosgard, and so far everything's great i did change out two sponges in the meantime from all the dye off from the uh, green hair algae or bryopsis collecting it so that's the only thing i really changed was the sponges and i'm actually going to do another medication at um tomorrow when i do the water change i'm going to throw one more capsule in basically mix it in some tank water about like four or five cups and then throw it in the tank. I'm just going to try to do a whole month of using this treatment um, because I hear people on the forum saying, oh, mine bounce back. Well, I'm going to try and prevent the bounce back. If I, I mean, my corals are looking great, as you can see. I mean, none of them really have been touched by this medication at all. If, in fact, they actually look better. I don't know why, <laughs> but they really have. And I've actually gotten some extra polyps out of some of the uh, zoanthids. So... No problems with that. The fish, obviously, you can still see them. They're happy. They're all buddy buddy. And um, I'm going to say use this if you get a chance and you have a bryopsis problem. I'm going to 100% recommend it. This is your only fighting chance. Do not try to pull it when you're trying to cure your tank. Just leave it. Let it sit. You know, keep the flow on it. Not too heavy because you don't want this medication to just sit there and float around your column. You want it to actually land on this bryopsis and have it absorbed by it and kill it off. That's the whole plan. Lower your flow a little bit, raise that collection cup up, uh, make sure you got plenty of aeration coming into the tank from like your protein skimmer like I do. And I did change out my sponge out uh, two times actually. I just completely just threw it away. I didn't bother um, rinsing it off or anything like that. And you know, just keep that stuff in mind. If you're going to try this, um, I'll let you know if it ever bounces back. But honestly, I, I think I got a good uh, idea of how to do this. And I think I'm going to actually keep that medication going for a whole full month. And um, when I get done with that, I'm going to put a piece of like a carbon bag in. And then I'm going to put my Purigen in. And that's going to help pull it all out. And I'm going to get the uh, protein skimmer cup down to the right height. Other than that, this is 40B Nasty out. Take care.